couple homicide has died after a gunfight in Arizona. It happened at a home on Old Can Road. Investigators received a call right around 3.30 Sunday afternoon to conduct a welfare check there. They found the remains of three people with gunshot wounds. Ridgeland Police Chief Brian Myers says investigators named Ivory James Welch III as the suspect. He was the son of one of the victims. An arrest warrant was issued for him and the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force began searching for Welch. Chief Myers tells 12 News that Welch managed to get to Arizona before he was located by Arizona State Troopers. He says that they attempted to apprehend Welch and he fired upon them. Troopers fired back and fatally wounded Welch. Police have identified the three victims as Welch's mother, 76-year-old Ida Thomas Welch, 56-year-old Vicki Renee Welch, and 42-year-old Crystal Lynn Welch. Crystal Welch was an associate clinical professor at the Mississippi College School of Law. 12 News, Tia McKenzie reports on reaction to Professor Welch's death. 42-year-old Crystal Welch was an attorney, Mississippi College law professor, president of the ACLU of Mississippi, and a member of several organizations. This is a huge loss for the city of Jackson, for the state of Mississippi, for MC Law School. Community members expressed their heartfelt condolences to the Welch family and friends following the tragic news of her death. Jacoby Grant graduated from MC Law School in 2016. And one of the things that she always taught us was when you're considering the best interests of the child, you always have to have some compassion. And that's the one thing, if anything, we can say about her, that she was truly compassionate about advocating to better the lives of youth and disadvantaged youth all around her. Welch was a member of Women for Progress Mississippi for over 10 years. When we think about the work that she did around adoptive uh, parents and children, uh, that's statewide. And that, and when we, you asked me about the impact, her impact in her work, just think about the lives that she will no longer have an opportunity to impact in our future. MC School of Law released a statement saying, in part, quote, It is with profound sadness that the Mississippi College and School of Law family mourn the passing of Crystal Welch, associate clinical professor. The thoughts and prayers of our leadership, faculty, staff, and students are with Crystal's family in this difficult time. It's a tragedy, you know, and it don't really know the circumstances, but it just goes back to gun violence you know if you can look at anything it's one of those things where we talk about access to guns and who has them uh, it becomes real important the second amendment matters but safety is important too reporting in Ridgeland Tia McKinney have you ever asked first and foremost before we get started I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekha Kodash and the bond sells great millstone while lunch is true and also, to the filet that's scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom. And come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to spare the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And the title of the lesson is For Yet Greater Evils. So I like to say, Shalom to all our listeners and learners. Hope to swept you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. So we're not going to uh, go into the news article. I have another video to bring it out with a little bit more edification, but we'll read the title. And it says, A Ridgeland Tripper Homicide Suspect Killed in Arizona Gunfight. So we're constantly seeing what murder after murder. We're constantly seeing what killing after killing. And also we're seeing what shooting after shooting. We're seeing what the love of men is constantly what waxing cold and cold. And also the Lord said, what first my judgment would start at the house of Israel. You know, and one thing about it, you know, do anyone perish being innocent? No, they don't. And one thing about it that we're seeing that the Lord is constantly bringing forth that judgment each and every day. So one thing about it, we're seeing that uh, uh, greater evils are constantly what? Uh, it's constantly what picking up. It's constantly what escalate. You know, it's going to be a time of trouble that we have never seen before. You know what? Jacob troubles at the door. Also, the MOTB. These things are constantly picking up. Also, what? The war drums are constantly beating. We're seeing right now the same rebellious house that did not want to return to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh The Lord's constantly bringing forth that judgment. What? These wicked Negroes, these wicked uh, Latinos, these wicked Native Indians. And one thing about it, it's time to seek your true power while he can be found. And one thing about it, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of who? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So let's get a quick precept. I have another video where, uh, to bring it out with a little bit more edification. Let's get this quick, uh, quick precept. Let's go here. 
It said Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12 it said, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So that's what we're seeing right now. You know, a lot of people right now self-will, a lot of people are very uh, selfish, a lot of people are right now very covetous. You know, a lot of people right now uh, are, are just constantly what they do thy will spirit, you know, you know, constantly being despisers of Yahweh by Hashim al -Shai. You know, and one thing about it, you know, un, you know, very unbelieving, you know what I'm saying? They, they constantly were unrighteous, you know, quick to do, uh, evil, you know what I'm saying, and hate the good. We're seeing this each and every day. You know, it's getting worse and worse. And one thing about it that we know that the Lord is getting ready to, to, to cut off the two-third very soon, you know what I'm saying? So the body count is getting ready to be great. So let's read it in the NLT. It says here, Matthew 24, in the NLT, the blue letter, it says, it says, sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will, will grow cold. So that's what we're seeing. We're seeing what, you know, all sorts of what, uh, a sexual immorality. We seeing, you know, you know, we knowing that we're living in the end time. We seeing that you know people are constantly doing whatever the hell they want to do. There's no fear of the law, not just yet, but the Lord is getting ready to introduce Himself very soon. And one thing about it, we already know that the Lord is visiting the earth that He created. The spirit of vengeance is working overtime every day. We seeing someone is coming what unalive, left and right, and the body count is getting ready to be great. And one thing about it, you know. The Lord is constantly warning you through his mouthpiece, which in fact are the prophets in the highways in the byway, constantly warn you about the Lord's judgment, constantly warn you about this time of trouble that we've never seen before. Great persecution, great tribulation, great death and destruction. It's right before our eyes. And also we know that what our salvation is at the door. And also we know that what the Lord great and glorious return is fast approaching. And one thing about it, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Amen. The Lord is making it happen. So let's go here. Let's get one more before we start this other video. Let's go here to uh, New Test, uh, the Old Testament. Let's go here to uh, um, Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. Let's get this one right quick. And it says here, it said, The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity every morning, do as he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So right now we're seeing that the Lord is constantly bringing forth his judgment, what, every morning, every day someone is coming, what, unalive. We know that many shall be taken in a great number. The Lord is constantly visiting the earth that he created. We constantly warn you, all sorts of calamities and catastrophes all around the world. It's going to constantly escalate. You know, we see it, the things are constantly picking up. We'll rejoice because we know that we're almost at the end of this thing. We're almost at the end of this nightmare. So the Lord already said, through much tribulation, ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So let's read this in the NLT. It says, it said, but the Lord is still there in the city and he does no wrong. Said day by day, he, uh, he, he hands down just justice, and he does not fail. But the wicked know, uh, know no shame. So we see it in that uh, video. You see that this guy. I mean, this news, uh, this news uh, uh, article I just brought out a while ago. We see that this this guy right here. He he unalived his mother and also his two sister so you already know that hey man we seeing that uh you know uh, uh, uh the, the enemy of your own uh your own family will be your uh worst nightmare will be your worst enemy you know the lord said that you know so he said he said the division between uh the mother the, the the sister the brother you know and vice versa so we're constantly seeing this each and every day man man the lord is constantly bringing it forward. This judgment is coming down at a fast pace. Recompense and judgment is right upon us. We're seeing it happening right before our eyes, but a lot of our people still thinking that it, it is a game and all these games are about to be over. And this man right here, you know, he you know, he had that spirit of vengeance on him. And what happened? You know, they unalive him in what? Arizona. The Lord is constantly bringing, you know what I'm saying? He, he killed, he, he basically killed the entire family. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord is constantly making it happen. Let's see here. Let's read uh, Zephaniah chapter three and uh, and verse five in the NLT once again said, but the said, but the Lord is still there in the city, and He does no wrong day by day. He hands down just justice, and He does not fear, but the wicked no no shame. So we seeing that right now. The two third, they you know they 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 they, they keep going on. With their daily life, not considered, you know, if they don't know no shame, they don't fear the Lord. But one thing about it, you know, it's gonna call, it's gonna be all of a sudden 
When they say peace and safety, the total destruction will come upon it. Right now, a lot of our people right now, you know, they're in security right now. They're thinking that they're a good case. And all of a sudden, you don't never know when your number going to come up. Bam, there it goes. You know, so, so we see it, we're going to see more increased violence, more increased uh, uh, abomination, sin uh, upon sin each and every day. We're going we gonna to constantly see this gross darkness. But one thing about it, the Lord is constantly shedding light on all this wickedness and all this uh darkness, you know what I'm saying? This wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. So we see it right now, you know, the Lord is constantly, you know, it, it's constantly bringing forth what the end. We see it that the end is being manifest right before our eyes. So now, let's go here to the to this other video. We'll bring it out with a little bit more edification. Let's go to this one here. Sad news coming out of Mississippi from Mother's Day weekend. These beautiful women over me were unalive this weekend by mom, her son, and these sisters, their brother. The victims have been identified as Ida Welsh, Vicki Welsh, and Crystal Welsh. And their brother, again, and son, is behind this tragedy. A mom and her two daughters killed in cold blood by their own son, and brother. This is a terrible situation. That's according to Police Chief Brian Myers with the Ridgeland Police Department out of Mississippi, where he says the three women were murdered. We've never had a triple homicide. Uh, for sure, this is a new one for us. The suspect, identified as Ivory James Welch III, took off. Within 24 hours, Myers says Welch drove all the way to eastern Arizona. I think he was just driving to create distance. Despite the distance, Chief Myers reveals how they were able to find him. You had the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force tracking his cell phone. A tool retired FBI Special Agent Michael E. Anderson says is key in finding fugitives. So they can track a cell phone to within four to five feet. So it's used very often in fugitive type cases or other cases where you're trying to geolocate someone. The Arizona Department of Public Safety says Welch was spotted in the Safford area Monday morning. They finally caught up to him on US-191 near Morseni. They uh, tried to pull him over and he got out with a gun. Mississippi police says Welch opened fire at DPS. However, officials with the department tell 12 News they cannot confirm that at this time. Only saying Welch reportedly showed a gun and troopers opened fire. Welch was shot and killed at the scene. So we seeing, you know, greater evils is yet to come. So we constantly seeing that it's constantly what escalating. We seeing that the vibration is changing. We seeing that the Lord is what is bringing forth that judgment each and every day. So now let's start today's lesson, a quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shemiah Bashar. Let's start here in Matthews, Matthews chapter 10. Let's go here. Matthews chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10, and we'll start up uh, at verse 34. Let's get this right, because this is exactly what what happened. We see it right there that, you know, that, you know, the family, you know, you know, they, they, they look like a loving family. But all of a sudden, all hell broke loose. That spirit of vengeance is constantly what? Working over time. We see it, man, hey, man, it's constantly running rapid. Let's go here. We probably go on this other one. This one here taking a while to scroll. We we get this one and we go back to my regular uh Bible uh app. Let's see here. It said Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34 it says it said, Think it said, Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. So you know one thing about it, the Lord's comes to warn you, left and right. The Lord's not coming to bring peace but a sword. That sword goes into what? Judgment. So the Lord's getting ready, you know, to make it plain upon table very soon. And that day they shall know that he is the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 35, it said, For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Verse 36, a man foe shall be uh, they of his own household. So that's what we see. You know, we see that the uh, that the son unalived his mother and also he unalived his sibling, which in fact is two, two sisters. And then he came unalived in what are uh, Arizona. So, man, we, whoo, man, the Lord is constantly making it happen. The Lord is, hey, man, he, he's, he's making it plain. Uh, verse 36 said, your enemies will be your, your, uh, Salaga. Uh, in the NLT, uh, in the blue letter said, verse 36 said, your enemies will be said right in your own household. So that's what happened. You know, the enemy was right in front of them in their own household. He killed his mother and also his two sisters. It's going to get worse and worse 
right before the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh This place is getting ready to be a total nightmare. This place is getting ready to be a war zone. This place, you know, it's going to be what? You know, civil unrest, sedition among men. You know, it's going to be kill or be killed. We're seeing that we're coming upon this time. These days are getting darker and darker. That's why we got to be what? Circumspect, redeem the time wisely. We're seeing that right now these evils are constantly growing, yet greater evils to come. So now let's go here. Let's get out of this app. Let's go here to uh uh first Peter. Let's go here a little quicker here. Let's go to first Peter first. First Peter <clears throat> four and seventeen, because this is where we at. The judgment had started at the house of Israel. We seen it right before our eye. And also we seen a lot of ease constantly getting what? Dismembered. You know, so hey man, it's it's boom, it's popping, it's happening. You know, right now you got to get your house in order, get your mind right. Let go of the modern thoughts. One thing about it, gird up your lawn. The Lord is getting ready to show up and show up. Uh, First Peter chapter four and verse seventeen he said, "For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Almighty. And if it first begin at us, said, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Hashem So it's plain and simple." You know, judgment has begun. You know, what the Negroes, the Latinos, the native enemy, you know what I'm saying? The one that the Lord is dealing with, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to get his house in order. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But that third, you know, we're going to what? Be tried as gold is tried in the fire. You know, the elect, the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we see it right now, you know, it's time, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the Redeemer time, why? You know, and one thing about it, we already know that these two thirds, they don't have faith. We see a lot of people, what? Are constantly bugging out, you know, just we gonna constantly see these things constantly pick up each and every day, man. Hey man, we're here. If you see that we are not in the end time, then you have a strong delusion and you will be totally destroyed. So now let's go here to uh uh Ecclesiasticus uh Sirach. Let's go here Ecclesiasticus uh Sirach, chapter 39. Let's go here. The spirit of vengeance is working over time. Uh in verse 28. Uh, Sirach 39 and verse 28, <clears throat> 39 and 28. And it reads, said, said, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So that's what we're seeing right now. That spirit of vengeance is constantly working. Left and right, that left hand energy. We see it that you know this demonic present present is getting uh, uh stronger and stronger. So we see that a lot of these people right now, the Lord is you know is bringing forth you know this judgment. You know a lot of people right now are very wicked. You know a lot of people are not trying to seek the Lord. Uh, constantly you know what I'm saying uh, uh still in that same mindset. You know worldly mindset. You know constantly you know want the crumbs off of Esau table. And one thing about it, you know. If you're not seeking the Lord, you're seeking death. So this is exactly what's happening, you know. And one thing that it constantly will appease in the wrath of Him that made them, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So one thing about it, you know, Lord is having fun right now. Uh, verse uh, twenty nine, it said, "Fire, hell, and famine, and death, all these were uh, created for vengeance." So we seeing that too, also, you know, tornadoes, you know, earthquakes. In diverse places, we seeing what flooding, flooding all over the world. You know, Lord is making that. Also, I think it was in a, I can't think what state it was in. It was the hailstone. Had a hailstorm, and I can't think what state it was in. Uh, 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 or what is uh, somewhere overseas? But anyway, it was biggest uh, baseball. So the Lord is man, he constantly, you know, bringing it forth. Uh, verse thirty said, said teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, said serpents and the uh, uh, the sword. Punishing the wicked to destruction. Man, we seeing it right there, man. The Lord is making it plain. So let's go here to uh Ecclesiastes. Let's get a little bit more on that. Ecclesiastes chapter 40 and verse um just random scripture and verse uh nine. Let's read this right here. It says here, uh said death and bloodshed, strive and and the sword, calamity, fam famine, tribulation. And discourages. That's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing a lot, what, a lot of death, a lot of bloodshed, a lot of strife. You know what I'm saying? The Lord bringing forth that sword, calamities and catastrophes all around the world, global events. You know what I'm saying? Jacob's trouble is fast approaching. We're seeing that right now. The love of men is constantly waxing cold and cold. You know, we're seeing that evil men are, work, are waxing worse and worse. We're seeing it happening right before our discourages are sent. We're seeing it. You know, the plagues are not slacking down for a moment. Verse 10 said, 
said, these things are created for the wicked and and for their sake came the flood. So we already know we're living in the what? Uh, uh, the days of Noah, you know, what what they were doing in the days of Noah. There is no new thing under the sun. Drinking and marrying, having a great old time, constantly being rebellious. What happened? The Lord talked them out. So he's, he's taking them out right now, you know, so the Lord never changed. So the Lord's constantly bringing it forth. Let's read it, uh, verse 9 once again. It, said, it says, uh, death and bloodshed, strive and, and the sore, calamity, famine, tribulation, and scourges. That's exactly what we're seeing. Verse 10 said, these things are created for the wicked and for their sake came the flood. So you already know what happened in Noah's time. You know, Lord, the Noah preached for 120 years. They constantly were scoffing in my, then the Lord brought forth the what? The rains, you know what I'm saying? And constantly what? He, he destroyed billions of people. Lord's getting ready to do it, but the Lord's getting ready to do it with great glory and great power. The Lord's getting ready to show out. We constantly want. A lot of our people still think that these things are a game, but these uh, uh these prophecies are constantly what are popping off the pages. So let's go here. Let's go here to uh <clears throat> Hosea chapter four. Hosea chapter four. Hosea chapter four and verse two. Hosea chapter four and verse two. And it reads said, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and say and committing adultery, uh, they break out and blood touches blood. So that's what we see, you know, murder after murder, you know, killing after killing, shooting after a shooter, and so forth and so forth. We're constantly seeing all, you know, all sorts of, uh, of blood is being shed left and right, you know. And one thing about it, we know that what the devil's getting ready to come down with a great wrath. So these things, you know, constantly what increase. We constantly know that the Lord is setting things right back in order, right before our eyes. Watch, pray, and be sober. Have a sober mind. How do you have that sober mind? This wisdom is not, you know, that will keep you stable in these times of trouble that is fast approaching. It's right in front of our feet. It's right at the door. So now let's go here. You know, the Lord is calling these things to happen. The Lord is killing people left and right. So let's go here. So the you know, Lord is the one, you know, held power over life and death. You know, like we seen that, you know, a lot of people know they were saying, oh, they, uh, she was so, uh, uh, this was tragic. You know, she was a very nice person. Isn't it? No one perished being innocent. We might get that one too. Let's go here. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32. I think it's around verse 39. <clears throat> See, this is what the Lord is doing right here. The Lord's bringing forth this jumping. He He has sanctioned it. So the mother, the the daughters, and also the son. The Lord killed them all. So one thing about it, he, he keep playing games. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty two and verse thirty nine said it says, "See now that I even I am He, and there is no power with me. I kill." And I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So that's plain and simple right now. Ain't no one is going to escape the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord is amen. Lord is a master chess player. And one thing about it, you know, you can run, but you cannot hide. And one thing about it, you know, a lot of people right now constantly, you know, are going on with their daily life. You know, not considering, you know, they're not even thinking about their true power. You know, the Lord had blessed them with good health, blessed them with good finance, you know, home, family, resource. And one thing about it, you know, they say, I did this, I did that. You know, the only way you could have done it, you know, is through the spirit and the power of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, the Lord have power over life. Also, the Lord have power over what? Uh, riches. Also, he can also make you rich and also he can make you what? Homeless. So, hey man, we come to, right here. Let's read this once again. It said, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. It said, it says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. It said, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So we see that. And you know, Lord is, is bringing it forward. You see right there, I kill. Whoo, man, the Lord doing it. We constantly warn you. So let's go here. <clears throat> let's see where I want to uh, go now. Let's go here to uh, uh, Amos. Let's go here to Amos chapter, Amos chapter three. Amos chapter three. Just a quick lesson. We'll shut it down in a minute. Amos chapter three and verse six. And it reads, says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? It says, shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord has not done it. 
Hey, it's plain and simple right there. The Lord is, is making it constantly, making it plainer and plainer each and every day. We're constantly seeing that these things are constantly picking up. We're constantly seeing that the Lord is bringing forth that judgment. A lot of our people are still uh, uh, what? not considering, still uh, are not knowing what time that we're living in, still uh, 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 got their ears stopped up, You know, still want to be wicked to this day. And the Lord is constantly bringing it uh, forth right before your eyes. Things are constantly what? Picking up things and constantly what increasing. And one thing about it, you know, Jacob trouble is fast approaching. Also, what that MOTB, it is at the door. In the middle of the Lord, we are constantly warning you. Left and right, it is time to seek the Lord while he can be found. Let's get that one, then we'll close out. Let's go here to Isaiah. Jeff's random script. Let's go here to Isaiah 55. We'll close out here. Isaiah chapter 55, and I think it's around verse 6 or 7. Let's go here. Isaiah chapter 55. And I think it's around verse <clears throat> verse 6. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Verse uh, 7 said, said, Let the wicked forsake uh, his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. So, Right now, it's time to seek the Lord. You know, right now, who is seeking the Lord early? Those are the true believers of Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh You know, one thing about it, you know, you got to be watching. You got to be praying. You know, it's got to be circumspect. Because we're seeing that these evils are constantly growing all around us. It's time to set your house in order. Get your mind right. Because the greater evil of these are fast approaching. You know, hey, man, we're here. So I keep quoting. That's my, we might as well get it. We're close out there. Let's go ahead and second every chapter uh 14, we'll close out here. Second area chapter 14, seek the Lord. Uh, second area chapter 14 and verse 13. Second area chapter 14 and verse 13. And it and it reads, it said, Now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. So, yeah, you know, get your house in order. I mean, examine yourself, you know, knowing what time that we're living in. You know what I'm saying? If you're lacking somewhere, go to the Lord. Yahweh, you know, ask the Lord to give you more uh, faith. Ask the Lord to increase you, you know, strengthen you through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, because we're living in some evil time, and they're constantly growing left and right, a time of trouble that we've never seen before. Verse 14 said, said, let go from the martyr thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. So one thing about it, you, know, you, you don't need to be, be concerned too much about this world. Because we're seeing that this earth age is constantly what, fading away. Esau is the end of this earth age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we know that, you know, all these worldly things get ready to come to an end. But one thing about it, if you love it here, you get ready to die here. So let go of the martyr thought and come back under that total subjection to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 15 he said, And set aside the thought that are most heavy unto thee, and hate thee to flee from these times. Verse 16 said, For yet greater evils uh, than those which thou hast uh, seen happen shall be done hereafter. Verse 17 he said, For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the, the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell. Uh, they're in, so that's what we're seeing right now, you know. Evils are constantly increasing. We're seeing all sorts of things. Uh, we're seeing all sorts of what? Sexual Im immorality, you know. People are doing all sorts of abomination. And the Lord is very angry. Angry. That's why you're seeing these people coming up unalive left and right. But the body count is getting ready to get greater and greater right before his great and glorious return. Verse 18, it said, For the time is fled a far away, and leasing or lying is hard at hand for now hasten the vision to come which thou hast seen you know so the signs of the times are here at the end it shall speak and not lie the prophecy you know what i'm saying they constantly speaking right now and one thing about it is that you know they are no more long suffering they constantly picking up it's constantly what increasing we see it uh, things are changing, you know what I'm saying? We're seeing that the Lord is constantly shedding light on all these lies and deception. Also, the Lord is constantly bringing forth that righteous judgment each and every day through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So the title of the day lesson, once again, is for yet greater evils. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekha I like to say, 
Shalom. Shalom.